What up, what up? Welcome to uh, All Things Marriage. What's up? We're your hosts. Derek and Crystal. Yay. Um, welcome again. Um, if you're new here, thanks for joining and tuning in. If you're hitting the replay, um, comment hashtag replay in the comment section. Um, if you're here live with us, say hello. Don't be a stranger. Say what's up to us. Um, we're just getting some preliminaries out of the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sharing and all of that stuff. Um, but I'm glad that you joined us today. Um, and I'm I'm hoping that what we have to talk about today will help you guys in some way um, in your relationships, in your life. So, yeah. Yeah, all of that. Um, as always, we like to do a check-in, you know, yeah. how our how our day has been going, etc., 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 etc. Um, so I guess I'll start off. Uh, sure. Today was <clears throat> overall a good day. Okay. Had, uh, of course, you know I went in super super early. Yeah. Um, like before six o'clock early to work. Uh, had to get some you know some software pushes and such rolling. Um, that went successful. Okay. Um, started working on a, a secondary task. The, you know, from yesterday's meeting that I right. talked about. Um, that didn't go quite as successful. Just. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. Uh, and then, um, had a nice little powwow with, uh, with the coworkers today. Well, it, was, it was pretty fun. Um, learned some things about some people. That was interesting. <laughs> um, I'm about to say, it's good um, to have people that you can at least converse with. You may not be friends with oh them. Oh, yeah. But, you, oh, yeah. you know, you have a nice work environment. Um, found out that one of my coworkers, he, mind you, he's, he's a little bit older, mm -hmm. um, 35, 36-ish, went to Virginia State. Okay. Yeah. Hell State. Did his undergrad in Virginia State. Hell State. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting. I'm not a, a, a Virginia State fan, or you know, yes. I just know that that's probably what he did. And, Hell State. And we had some we had some interesting conversations. I was I was commended uh -huh. uh, without going into uh, full detail full detail of all the conversations we had. <laughs> I was I was highly commended and. Um, yeah, highly commended. I was trying to think of the, 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 the other word that I wanted to use, and I couldn't. Right. For uh, making it all the way through undergrad without taking so much as a sniff of alcohol. Yeah, well, you know, we're proud like, of you. Because literally, the, 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 the comment was like, you, you, you went to undergrad, and you didn't drink at all? Right. That's a feat. Like, right. Like, because, I mean, like, most college students, yeah. undergrad, is just like, bro, I made it through four years smack face. Right. Yeah. That, that's how a yeah. lot of kids it. So, I'm, I don't testify to that, okay? Right. Um, but, uh, you know. It was just like. It was I, can, just I don't like, have the same testimony as you. But it was, it, was just <laughs> like, it was just like, you, sir, are a different breed. Right. Like, like, and I thought, you know, that was that was interesting. You know, it. it, it some people do it. You don't have that many people that can, you know, again, have that testimony of, yeah, I yeah. went to undergrad and I didn't taste alcohol. I can say that I never smoked. Right. Cigarette, yeah, yeah. weed. I can tell that testimony. Right. And, um, yeah. And, and had no desire to. Right. And there's no shade, you know what I'm saying? No, to no. Who, who did or didn't. It we was, live and we learn. Right. It was know. just the conversation that we were having. And, um, you know, everyone was talking about, you know, different, right. you know, different, you know, pastimes, fun activities, whatever. Right. And, you know, the average person is just like, oh, you know, want to, you know, you know, go hang out, get a couple of drinks and we can have a good time. And I was just like, I guess I'm like the only sober one in the group or whatever. And it was just like, well, we're sober now. Right. Like right this second. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, you know. When I go home and chill, you know, I may, I may knock one back or whatever. Right. And I was just like, I mean, like, no, permanently. They was just like, wait, you don't drink at all? Like, right. like never? And I was just like, like no. yeah, yeah. Um, so that was an interesting conversation. Hi, Carlisa. Love you. Um, 
But yeah, that that was that was an entertaining yeah it's entertaining conversation because it's, the least. it's interesting because people are for, for real shocked. Yeah, They're yeah. like, wait, yeah. I just assume because so many people not only go to grad school, undergrad, and drink, but yeah. so many people drink. So yeah, to yeah, say yeah, 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 that. Yeah. You never drink. Like, it's just to, like to say that not only do you not drink, but you never have ever is right. definitely an anomaly. I can yeah. I can admit that. Even yeah. even when I was in school and we would go on uh go on different uh trips to different conventions and things of that nature, uh, or just have conversations around campus, when when my peers would find out it's just like you're a liar. Right. You never ever Drink this, and it's just, and it's just like no, I just, I, I have no desire. Like I look like I was in the days. I'm sorry, I was looking at this comment down here, but um, this notification. Yeah. But but yeah, that I mean, in a nutshell, that was my day. There's more to it than gotcha. that, but you know, gotcha. you know, for all intents and purposes, I have to find <laughs> stuff to do. I told you we talk, we were talking about something the other week, and I was just like, yeah, we don't have anything to do. Like we need to have kids now, cause. We don't have anything to do. Yeah, Me yeah. more so because I'm like, I'm at home now. Mind you, mind you, mind you, mind you. I do have schoolwork to do. Right. So yeah. I don't have absolutely nothing to do. Um, but it's just like, if I have a, a like a a week that's not heavy in tasks. Mm-hmm. Like literally, this week is the first week of my two classes, uh, my last two classes for this year, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, okay, the first week. Yeah. I just gotta read, get through the reading, and then I do a quiz. Yeah. And do a discussion post. Right. But it's just like they're not heavy right. right now. So I just like, uh, I don't have that much to do. But you know, today was I mean pretty cool. Yeah, pretty I got up. I didn't sleep in late, you know. Yeah. I wasn't tired, Uber tired, which I have been yesterday and Monday. I was just like uh, it's 11. I want to go to sleep. But, yeah. So, yeah. today was pretty. I mean, pretty dope. I took some pants back. You mm-hmm. know, I got mm-hmm. out for a little bit. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> so, let's let's do this, you know, while we while we attempt to wait for a few more people to hop into the into the room. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, and if not, you know, catch it later. Catch it when you catch it. You know, just catch it. <laughs> just catch it. Catch it. Whenever you catch it, just catch it as long as it's not COVID. Um... Among other things. And other things. I'm going to say. <laughs> Among other things. That's not the worst um, thing that you could have. But yeah. yeah. Some may be different. Some, but, some may. But, some may not. Um, that I being know. said, let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and throw this out. Um, yeah. We are rounding the curve. We're nearing yes. the end of the October 21 Day Challenge with the uh, King's, with Kids, the King's Kids, Kids Wellness Group. Yes. Um, I will admit, and I plan on, I was planning on putting a video on King Kids Wellness. Um, so if you haven't checked out King's Kids Wellness on Facebook, do that. Um, yeah. That's our that's our wellness group. Um, I was, but I was planning on putting out a video that I failed, people. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it's no, no, not no, the no, end no, yet. no, 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 no. You don't understand. I. Failed. I failed terribly, but I learned something about myself. So in failure, I learn, and so you yeah, know, it's, it's always a, a learning failure. lesson. Everything is a learning lesson. Um, I failed because I started out great. You know, had a good solid week of every day cranking it out. You know, and then I, you know, then I took ill. You know, I became under the weather. And the way you say it, it's like I was on well, uh, my I, deathbed. I need, I, you know, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to dramatize it so Men. people feel like I had an excuse. Men. <laughs> um, Men. But I took ill and, and was unable to, to do any real like exercise or whatever for like three or four days. Mm-hmm. Um, and that just derailed everything. And that's not to say I haven't worked out any since then. Right. I have, but it definitely hasn't been every day. Right. Um, it's been a struggle to make it every day. Yeah. So... <laughs> Um, so th- that's my disclaimer for gotcha. that. Um, but King's Kids Wellness, hop on there if you, you know, and, and, you know, finish strong, finish these last like three days, four days, however many days, finish strong, you know, crank it out. Even if you like me and you on the failure side of things, crank these last days out. Talk, talk to yourself? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little okay. bit. All right. Um, 
pray these last days out, you know? Yeah. Um, speaking of the last days, we are truly, truly living in the last days. Mm-hmm. Truly living in the last days. Mm-hmm. To register. Mm-hmm. For I knew it was coming. Love Conference 2021. <laughs> I knew it was coming. That's why I just was like... <laughs> we are. We are we living are. in the last... I, when I say last days, I mean you got like like no, a week and a half to... November the 7th is the last day yeah. to register for the 2021 conference. Um, we still are excited. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we still are excited about this. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm ready for. I'm not like ready. I'm not anxious like to mm -hmm. hurry up and get here mm -hmm. because I know we have some other things that we're trying to, you know, accomplish before then. Yes, yes, um, yes. And make sure the day is um, how we want it. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's ten people there, whether it's. 150 people there, or whether it's a thousand people, right? Which the seats are limited, so it's not so a it's thousand. Not good <laughs> <laughs> um, but right. we wanted to have it the way we want to have it, but um, yeah, I'm excited about it because oh, yeah, the lineup is just they're just like that. Like, these individuals, I'm excited to hear the singles as well as the married people because I want to get a, a, a take on um, in this climate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are the struggles that single people are dealing with and how we as married individuals, mm -hmm. you know, friends to the singles, as well as leaders of the, you know, the singles, how can we assist them with, you know, being the healthy hold them mm -hmm. in their singleness, waiting or preparing or not waiting at all, um, you know, mm -hmm. they're comfortable in their singleness and how they can be the best them um for themselves as well as for their their relationships right yeah and so uh so yeah all of that being said like i said registration ends november the 7th which means we are just just a week inside yeah. of like two, two weeks. weeks yeah yeah right we're yeah. just inside of two weeks to register um we we are not going to be able to to do registration beyond the seventh. Um, so if you guys haven't already registered, make sure you go to the website, grab your tickets, allthingsmarriage.org slash events. Again, allthingsmarriage.org events tab. You can register there. Um, the flyers are littered throughout Facebook and Instagram and you know your different social media platforms. Yeah, we do have an update to the to the flyer. Yes. Um because of the change in location, but we'll have that to you all this week. Right. And we'll be sharing it and we'll be, you know, And also you when you know. register, you 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 know. Well, if you go on yeah, if you go on the website, it's yeah. there. Yeah, when you when you register, you get the location information and all that anyway. So, yeah. you know, bam boom. <laughs> But, but uh, yeah, go ahead and register, guys. We want to see you guys there. Um, we want you to experience this with us. Right. Yeah. And, uh, so register. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah. That being said, let's hop into today's discussion because, you know, we're 13 minutes in. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's hop into today's let's just stop them in. Um, whatever you just said. Well, you know. I can't agree with that because I don't really know what you said. I felt the power coming out. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> um, I didn't. I did not. <laughs> Bishop, um, let's get get him. into today's discussion, uh -huh. ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, lead us off. Take us, take us there. So yeah, we're take us there. We, we, you know, we had um, Bishop and Lady Joiner on mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. If you missed that, go back. It's go back up there. Check it out. It it's was, on the YouTube. It was a great time. Yeah, it's on YouTube. It's on our Facebook um, page. Um, it was an awesome conversation. Yes, we yes, laughed. Yes, yes, yes. You guys missed a little snippet before, you know. You keep it's okay. That no, I'm just saying because you know that's how it is. We we missed that piece. But anyway, um, <laughs> we we enjoyed talking to them so much. There were several things that we like that came up during that conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, we talked about blended families. We talked about um. Uh, divorce and being remarried. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about uh, 
short, uh, they dated for a short time. We right. we talked about it all. So they got married within a short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, and we talked about one of the things that we're going to talk about today is that we mentioned was, you know, um, having the spiritual versus the natural, natural psychological counseling mm -hmm. and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, and I wanted to kind of go in a little bit more depth on that conversation on that topic. Um, because just a couple of days after that, we had another conversation as we were talking about, um, the conference and who's going to be there and you know, how it was going to be set up and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the comment was made, uh, that basically God got me like, whatever issues I have in my marriage, right. whatever things that I need to know or learn or, you know, need to implement in my marriage to make it better and make it work. Yeah. I take my counsel from God. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. so I was just like, like I didn't respond to it, but right. I was just like, wow. The fact that we, we, it's not just that individual that has that mentality. Yeah, that's People a, have that mentality. Yeah. Um, reason why they don't see counseling spiritually right. or naturally, because from that statement, you're not even seeking spiritual counseling. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, within yeah. your marriage, you're just, I'm going to listen to God. If I got a problem, I take it to God. Yes. We take all things right. to God. Yes. But our Bible literally tells us to talk to each other. To to form relationships with each other, right. to to seek counsel, to, to seek counsel from, from each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get counseling from everybody. Right. No, you use wisdom, right. but you literally cannot honestly. And I'll say this without even, you know, feeling like I'm wrong in it. Um, but you literally, literally cannot say I am of Christ and of God, of following God without seeking help or assistance from someone else in the oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the word tells us, yeah. you know what I'm saying, where two or three are gathered, I will be in the midst. Yeah. So how yeah. can I say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that you only, that you, that you, that you're only willing to hear from God. From God. Because, and we clearly know that, you know, as a Christian, God doesn't reveal everything to us, right. even in our marriages. He right. doesn't reveal everything to us right. because we are susceptible to shut off our hearing. Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so let me um so you've already kind of gone a little bit in depth. Yeah, I was just yeah, I, you know. Yeah. A little <laughs> bit in, in depth in in your opinion on that. Yeah, story. yeah. Um so so what I would like to do is I would like to play the counter to that, right? Okay. I'm going to um, play I'm, devil's advocate. Yeah, sure. well, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call it devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but I more so structure this discussion a little bit like a debate, right? Right. And so what I want to do is 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 attempt to dive into the mind of the of the 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 archetype of person that would make this type of statement, mm -hmm. right? And 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 kind of try to. To open up some understanding of why I would con why why I would say that mm -hmm. and and how I can 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 argue the le the the legitimacy of a, of a statement of that nature okay. or a me mentality of mm -hmm. that nature or whatever right um and so the first thing I think of or the first thing that comes to mind for me with that is one of my one of my go to passages mm -hmm. biblically and I don't necessarily want this to be a biblical discussion but I'll, I mean. The, the nature of it is such. We keep telling you that. Right, right. The, na the nature. Of, well, <laughs> if the, you don't know that yet, you're probably new here. Probably so. <laughs> new. But I, and I say that because a lot of times when you're talking to people about their relationships, about mm -hmm. like everyone wants to hear, well, not everyone, but Christians want to hear about God. People don't mind discussing religion and religious religious principles as long as it pertains to you. But then when it turns, when it comes to to to. Uh, Activating said principles and activating said rules, regulations, uh, all of those things on my own personal life, mm -hmm. then it's just like, you know, either you in my business or, you know, God give me grace, I'm gonna live like I wanna live, type right. of, you know what I'm saying, type of mentality. But, you know, that part's neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing that I go to when I, when I think of this type of statement of, 
of I take my counsel from the Lord and, and the Lord only. Um, Jesus Christ himself, you know, the Almighty, et cetera, et cetera. I go to a, 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 a the, the, the verse that says, the heart of a man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it, mm -hmm. right? Um, which is which is applicable in, in, in almost any circumstance. Yeah. And so I would, and so one argument that I would pose and is that if if the heart of mankind in general or any one human and, and, and another passage that is that the, the, the Bible says that mankind, we as humans devise, we create new ways to sin. Yeah. We, we take things that 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 essentially are not sinful and we make them sinful mm -hmm. by perverting the nature thereof. Right. Um from its in, from its original intent. And so I would say that realistically if if I am living by the word of God and I am hearing the word of God and I'm studying it one thing that I learned is that man is inherently flawed. Mm -hmm. And so if, so for me to... If you don't get that when you read the Old Testament, I don't know what to tell you. Right. And so for me <laughs> to be striving to to live a Christ-like life, mm -hmm. for me to be striving for, for a holy perfection, to then, to then say, I am at a loss for a thing, let me turn away from this thing, uh, from that which is perfect, and go seek advice from imperfection right. is logically erred. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like there, there is a there. It can be argued that there is a lapse of judgment in that to say here is a resource that is infinitely wise and and always accurate, always perfect, always true. But I'm going to shut this off. And then go ask you, mm -hmm. an inherently flawed individual, and not only just flawed, but but subconsciously wicked and deceitful in nature. Right. So anything that you, so I can perceive that anything that you would tell me would be deceptive, and and seeking out evil. Okay. And and. And even if you take that instance out, you say that it's also it's also errored in nature. It is imperfect in nature. And so I, I can understand why a person would make the statement, I'm not going to ask essentially, not you specifically, but I'm not oh, going to no. ask you a person to teach me how to be a better person because you can't be a better person. He gave some preachers, teachers, mm -hmm. apostles. Mm -hmm. So if I if I set these Apostle, people, apostles and prophets, you gotta get. You gotta I'm get sorry, apostles and prophets. Yes, for the edifying, edifying. of the kingdom and the, and the perfecting of the saints. Correct. Okay, so if God has established right. these individuals, I understand for the perfecting right. of the church. Right. If I am the church. Right. If my spouse is the church, mm -hmm. and I. Am supposed to have a covering. This is correct. Why is it that I now limit my covering mm -hmm. to only teach and preach the gospel, mm -hmm. but he or she cannot counsel me in my my marriage, right? Because this is my covering. This is somebody who prays for right. Me. This is somebody who prays for my spouse, right? This is somebody I entrust and believe, hears, and speaks to God mm -hmm. concerning the sheep. Right. Which I'm not. Mm -hmm. So, if I believe that God is all-knowing, all-encompassing, all mm -hmm. and sets things in order mm -hmm. perfectly, mm -hmm. and has given me my head, my headship, mm -hmm. and my covering. Why won't I believe that God has given them a word or instruction concerning my marriage? Because because the Bible not only teaches the gospel, right. but it teaches about marriage. It does because the Bible itself teaches about marriage. But and and and, and again, I I don't want you all to think that this is how I believe. But I'm right. putting myself in right. Marriage. But no, this it, yeah. it has to be discussed. Right. Oh, from both sides. Right. It has um, to be and understood. So, and so, again, 
he gave some apostles, mm-hmm. some prophets, mm-hmm. some evangelists, some preachers, some teachers for the edifying and the perfecting of the saints. Uh-huh. The saints being the people of God, mm-hmm. the church of God, the ministry of God, mm-hmm. and the role of the saints, the role of the church is to is is the great commission. It's to go and be fishermen of men. It's to go and evangelize, to mm-hmm. to Praise spread the, the gospel, bring people into the knowledge of Christ. Mm-hmm. And so those five, this is the this this could be the argument. Mm-hmm. Those five, their their role is to perfect the art of ministering, mm-hmm. to bringing people into the knowledge of Christ. Mm-hmm. That's what they are to to make. The collection of the church, Mm-mm. and by extension the evi- the individuals, perfect at. Mm-hmm. And so, if they are, so if, if 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 the role of the church is to bring people to Christ, mm-hmm. I am already in Christ. Mm-hmm. Then they can't help me be perfect in my relationship because I am in Christ. My spouse is in Christ. Therefore, our relationship is in Christ. That's where your responsibility and that's where the your your biblical ability sees. Mm-hmm. And so now we go back to the instance of flaw because even though you are a prophet and God speaks to you and I do trust that God hears you, I also understand that 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 which you hear and then I'll say use the term regurgitate mm-hmm. or uh or profess to the people is still filtered through your flawed human mind. Mm -hmm. And so if I want the the purest version of it, I go to the word, Mm -hmm. the scripture. Now that's a, that's an, that's an error there because we, we, we view the word as the, the printed Mm -hmm. scriptural text. We view that as the word of God and and the word only. And, and, and that's also a false thinking Mm -hmm. but I go to the word and I read and I wait to hear from God from the the scriptural text what God says about me and my marriage not what you the pastor says or not with you the apostle says because again your only job is to make me perfect and evangelizing people into Christ Mm -hmm. I, I get what you're saying Right. But even in that, there's flawness. Sure. It's flaw. There, there's flaw. Not it's flawness. <laughs> I said what I said. I said what I said. Right. I meant what I said. There's flawness. Mm-hmm. Because you, you're the same flawed individual as the apostle. This is true. Reading the same word that the apostle and the pastor did. This is true. And you interpret it the way you want to interpret mm-hmm. it. And then you wonder why hell is breaking loose. It's bust wide open. Your marriage. Which is biblical. Hell is in fact bust wide open biblically. <laughs> the Bible says that hell it says that hell enlarges itself. And it's and it's running rampant in your yeah. relationship. Mm-hmm. Um so at the end of the day, and you have I've asked God and I've prayed to God or barely because I just read the word. I don't really need to pray to you if the word already tells me. Because that that is that you, you, you already know, read it. So I I, I talking like my little nephew. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. I read the word. The word said that the man should be the head of the house. Mm-hmm. The woman's body is not her own. Mm-hmm. You see how I'm skipping scriptures out of here? Oh no no no! You and, definitely skip some verses. And a, in woman, and a woman should be submitted to her husband. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And that's all I read. I miss all the other pieces, but that's what I took from it because that's what I wanted. This, and God said it. That's it. So I'm going. Whatever I say, you need to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So again, goes back to my question. That's all well and fine and just right. something, not just, <laughs> but just something. But we have, and this is again, we are Christ followers, but. It is not just Christians who feel this way. Right. It's, it's individuals. I, you can't tell me anything. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live my life right. within my marriage, within my relationship. And then we wonder why right. we cannot communicate effectively. We wonder why we cannot 
um, satisfy our our partners or be satisfied with our partners. Mm -hmm. um, but anytime an individual not satisfied offer, by but satisfied with, it's a uh, difference, right? And we wonder why. Um, and then we, you know, say, well, somebody comes and says, you know, like this happened and this worked for me, and you know, maybe y'all should do this one, and, or you you yell a lot. You're 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 condescending. You're making that individual feel less than, mm -hmm. and then it's just like, well, you can't tell me this is my relationship, and so I'm just like, but we wonder why. Again, right. all hell is breaking loose. Right, 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 right. And we're trying to just take what we know or what we've interpreted mm -hmm. and apply it to our relationships and shun everybody else on the outside right. that is literally been either sent by God or has resources right. that we can take and apply. Right. You, no, you don't need to know my business. Sometimes, sometimes I need to share yeah. because yeah. sometimes I need somebody to tell me that you did wrong. And I think that's the issue. Nobody wants to be told no. that they're wrong. No, it's, I, and I don't even think it's that nobody wants to be told that they're wrong. Nobody wants to to accept the fact that they themselves are in error. Or lacking. Right. Or, or and again. Saying, it's a, it is a, and, and I'll say this, I'll say this from the, from the male perspective, it's a, it's a machismo thing. It's, what? Go ahead. Why are you laughing? Because that was in my book. It was oh. in my book. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's a macho man. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it's it's honestly a part of toxic masculinity culture, mm -hmm. right? And and that the perception of manhood is is about accuracy, leadership, mm -hmm. and physical dominance over a a given situation or scenario, and and it's viewed as being inherently weak if you accept that you messed up or made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And and so what, a lot of times what happens is with, with men, we, rather than saying we made a mistake, we will say that, that all of the information wasn't there. Like mm -hmm. that, 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 that the system or the scenario or in some way was unfair to us mm -hmm. rather than just we messed up. And I'll, I'll give a, a really good example of it, right? Um... And it's that we'll go to the store and we'll buy a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll go to Ikea or something of that nature. You know, we'll buy a bookshelf or we'll we'll buy a dresser or, you know, some, some piece of furniture, something that requires assembly. Mm -hmm. And then we'll sit down and start putting this thing together and first and foremost, not read the instructions, Right. When realistically, you're supposed to read the instruction manual fully before you begin operation right. on anything, right? Um, but we'll sit down, Make sure we'll, all lay, the pieces we'll lay out all the parts that's there, and immediately start being like, okay, what looks like it goes together? Mm -hmm. Then we'll then we then we can't figure it out. Then we'll get the 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 instruction guide, and we'll look at the pictures, still refusing to read the words because it feels too much like someone's telling us to do what right. to do. Then we'll go, we'll put things, we'll put something in the wrong spot, screw it down, realize later that it's wrong, disassemble half the thing, change it, put it da 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 da, and then put it together and then get towards the end. Things aren't formulating quite the way that they're supposed mm -hmm. to. And then we'll say, oh, they must have left out a screw. There's a screw missing here, or this piece was cut too short. Or, you know what I'm saying? There's something wrong with the parts that you were given. Right. Not that you messed up putting it together. Yeah. When, 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 if you had just stopped, looked at the instructions, read the instructions, yeah. and then followed the instructions step by step, 90% of the time, there's not anything missing. Everything is there because nowadays, especially, these packages are being put together via machine. Mm -hmm. So the machine is going out, it is going and cutting the parts. The yeah. machine is is pulling five screws and not six screws because it was input into the machine to grab five. And so the machine says one, two, three, four, five, cut, slides it over, <laughs> right? Yeah. So there's less room for error. Right. But we would rather believe 
that the company that the company packaged it incorrectly, yeah. then we made an error in putting it together. Right. And so then we take that mentality and we apply that to everything in our lives. And so then we can, then as a as the Christian, we make the statement of I take I'm taking my guidance from God and not from a person because because that gives us the highest degree of standing right because then you can then we have the the ability to say if you believe that something I'm saying or doing is incorrect then you're not you're not saying that I'm incorrect you're saying that God's incorrect and so now we can defer the blame to an issue between you and God as opposed to an issue with me and something that I'm doing Right. right. Whereas if we say, okay, well, I'm taking counsel from this person. Well, this person can now look at me and tell me I did a thing wrong. Or you can, that person can tell me, well, no, no, I gave you this instruction to do it this way and you didn't follow it the way I gave it. So you messed the system up. Right. When, when you use that umbrella of I'm only taking advice from God, I can eliminate all of those those question marks that another person may bring to me. Right. And so it feeds into my, my, my ego, honestly. It feeds into my machismo that I'm always right. Right. Um, and, you know, and, and so, and, and, and even if we take it out of the, the realm of the Christian, of the, you know, the Christ believer, if we, if we take it into like the realm of, 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 of like an atheistic person, mm-hmm. um, the, the same logic can be applied and maybe maybe the, the higher power isn't necessarily God. The higher power is them. Yeah. And so again, if I I'm take, the master of my own feet. Right. And so so even from the person who doesn't believe in God, if if I take counsel for, from someone else, that it is admitting that I don't know and someone else is better at this than me. Right. And so that's too big of a hit to my ego. Right. In order for me you know, for me to admit that. So I would rather, I would rather essentially lose my, my relationship, break my relationship, Mm -hmm. hinder my relationship. Um, then I would rather do that than to admit that I made a mistake. Right. Because it's easier to, for my, my understanding it's easier for me to say, that my partner right. did something and right. and and messed our relationship. Right. Like I did all that I could, right. and nobody be able to honestly fact check it. Yeah. Other than talking to your partner, right. but then it's still a he said, it's, she it's, said. It's you versus me, yeah. right? Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think we have as a a a human um species, we have challenges with being instructed or directed oh yeah um and i know that this is something that we we discuss all the time in our relationship Mm -hmm. Derek always feels as i don't like to take instructions from him specifically this is a transparency moment (laughs) um (laughs) specifically from me right and he'll tell anybody anybody that that we're talking to which i don't have a problem with because sometimes i'll be like i bro I, I really didn't want that instruction. Like yeah. I didn't want that. And and but that's a part of me knowing how I learned. Right. But again, he'll say right. it's because of hell. Right. <laughs> and it, and 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 understand it, it's not like an anger or a mean thing. Right. It's like you you really don't like hearing. Like you really don't like me telling you what to do. Right. right. And you know and we laugh about it. You know we joke about it. It's right. Like, um, it, because, now it doesn't mean that it's not some an area right. that should be worked on, but it, but <clears throat> but it's also not a a strain on us, right? You know what I mean? So you know whatever it's whatever, right? Um, but yeah, and and so like I said, like I said that, and I, I I'm only the, the reason that I wanted to to structure this discussion in in the form of a, of a debate is because I I wanted to structure it from the perspective of the or, or rather, give some level of insight into the I'm a man uh, perspective mm-hmm. and the I, bu- I don't I don't want to to hear from you perspective mm-hmm. because because in all honesty, 
both of us, I, be, I believe at least, you know, I can't necessarily speak for you, but I believe both of us are advocates for seeking both spiritual counsel, not just from God, but from a spiritual, from spiritual leadership, Leader, yeah. um, as well as seeking natural marriage mm. counseling, mental health counseling. Um, you know what I'm saying? All of that. We believe in mentorship. Yeah. And like we both believe that there are levels of covering that you need in every aspect of your life. Any area in your life that you are desiring to grow mm -hmm. in, you need someone in front of you yeah. showing you the pathway yeah, to Because grow. you don't have everything. And I've said this about right. religion as right. a whole. Right. Um, you know, you have some over here that's this and this and that. And God said, I'm going to give you a little bit and I'm going to yeah. give you a little yeah. bit. And then because I deal in unity, right? You guys need to figure out and, how to come and together. In order for it to really work, y'all gotta do y'all gotta work together. Right. Right. So and, you can see me fully. Right. And, and that's the thing about relationships and, and seeking that counseling, right. seeking that advice. We didn't come together because we knew everything and right. this the one for me, I'm the one for him. We got it all together. Right. Let's yeah. go. No. No. That's not how it works. Right. And so and so I was saying I, I wanted to I wanted to structure this conversation in this capacity because I, I really wanted to do the conversation justice by by expressing the the my fit one of my favorite words, the antithesis mm -hmm. of, of our belief system and, uh -huh. you know, and our perspective of the argument, because I, I believe both sides carry merit. Yeah, they um, do. Um, and that's how you understand. OK, so. How I need to meet you, where I need to meet you. Right. If I understand, if I just constantly, that's wrong, uh -uh, I'm cutting you off. Right, right, right. No, I need to understand where you're coming from, where you're right. getting this logic, so then I can meet you halfway, and then right. one of us guide each other the way that it should be. Yeah. Or the yeah, way yeah. that's going to help our, our relationship or, grow. Or not even necessarily guide each other the way it should be, because every, every situation isn't necessarily a right or no. wrong, it should or it no. shouldn't. But... But for me, and this, and I've always been like this, mm -hmm. um, like always, I, as much as people may, some people who know, are closer to me may feel like I, I like to argue, mm -hmm. um, and, and more specifically, I like to argue and be right. That's, that couldn't be further from the truth. All right. What it is, is I like to express contrasting mm -hmm. perspectives such that one myself and whoever I'm discussing with can learn and understand and expand our knowledge base. Right. Right. And so, so many times in, in some of these heated discussions that we have with friends and families or whatever, many times I will honestly intentionally enter into the conversation and sit, listen, hear what everyone is saying. And then whatever the majority of the, the, the people are in favor of I'll just begin to argue the opposite mm -hmm. <laughs> like and, and it and again that sounds like you just like to argue no but it's but it's because it's because I can't grow you can't grow mm -hmm. if all of us are always thinking the and same the, the same thing all the time and that's impossible you know what I'm saying and and so and so for me it's I like the idea of sitting back and saying hmm I'm a Christian I've always been a Christian. Mm -hmm. I've always viewed the world through the Christian lens. And, you know, and we belong to a specific sect of Christianity, right? right. I, but but I, I've always viewed the world through a specific Christian lens. But what if I were a Muslim? Mm -hmm. What, how would I validate, how would I attempt to validate Muslim mm -hmm. practice? You know what I'm saying? What if I were an atheist? Right. How would I attempt to validate an atheistic mindset? Mm -hmm. Right? And 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 then that's how I learn. That's how I grow and develop. And then when I have a com when I have the conversation with an atheist, I can I can understand where you're coming from and why you would argue that that there is no there is no such thing as divinity. Right. But and then I can also help you understand why I would argue that there is a such thing as divinity. Right. Because I've taken the time to hear you. Right. And, un and, and learn why you believe the right. way you believe. Right. 
right? And so, and, 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 and like I said, that to me, that was, that piece was more important in the discussion than to just say, you need to take counsel from other people. I, I mean, right, no, and, and that's not the, the case definitely at all. Like, we're, we're not saying, yeah, y'all need to do it. Do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, go, right, right, right. go out here and get your counseling. Because if you don't have an issue, if you're, if everything seems to be perfect. Or rather, if you don't perceive yourself as having an issue. Right. Then, no. I'm not going to say don't get it. But then, sure, maybe you don't need it right now. Right. But don't be so close-minded on it. Like, you know, I'm, I don't ever need to go get counseling. God is my counselor, and that's all I need. And then when stuff happens in life, and you feel as though you can't hear God, Mm-hmm. You know, God is not re- uh, releasing you from this struggle or he's not, you know, taking you out of the struggle or whatever. Um, he's not providing a solution. You've cut off everybody else, like the idea of going and seeking help. Mm-hmm. And so you're honestly, the, the end result is to get divorced. You right. know what I'm saying? Or, you know, there's that's one of the lesser ones, honestly. Yeah. But, you know, the extreme cases, I got to do something else. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. But when we can literally just say, I want to have a conversation with someone. Yeah. And if not even to just, I'm going to just throw it out. Even if you don't have anything to advise me of or give me good advice, I just right. need a safe space where I can say all of this stuff. Right. And hear it. Right. Out loud. Um, and... Right then I can, you know, go back into my relationship. Right. And make it work. And, and sometimes and sometimes the counseling again, like you said, isn't isn't about giving like always getting some advice from someone, right. someone telling you what to do. It's 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 more so um just learning how to communicate because a lot of times, especially in you know in relationship in, in, in intimate relationships, mm-hmm. but in, in life in general, but especially in intimate relationships, a lot of times our problem is that we 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 are ineffective at communicating. We are we learn to talk at a young age, at a very young age. Um, and I honestly feel as though we as human beings are inherently excellent communicators up until the point that we learn to speak. Yep. And then once we begin to learn to speak our communication skills are greatly decreased because we rely heavily on speech Mm -hmm. and and the more words we learn and more specifically than learning how to talk but learning a command of the English language Mm -hmm. because we learn all the words but never learn really how to apply them right right and so we get and, and and you can look at a you can look at a child a child will will be really effective at, at telling you that they're, that they're uncomfortable, that they're in pain before they learn to talk. Mm-hmm. Why? Because if they're in pain, they will holler until their face pops off. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Pretty if much. They, if they're hungry or, you know, whatever, a, ch- a two-year-old child will, will run and grunt and point and demonstrate all day long all right. and, until they know for a fact that you understand what it is that they're trying to communicate. Right, Mm -hmm. and then the minute they learn the word "mama," it's just "ma ma 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 ma," and they 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 stop all the other things, and it's just just hollering "mom." Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I mean? And then the minute they learn the word "no," it doesn't matter how they feel about a given situation; they'll literally be hungry, and then like point to food, right? And then they then you say. You want some chicken and the, no, like because they've learned this word. Right. And I was just thinking about a prime example of our nephew Caleb. Right. He will call anyone, any, any female mom. Yeah. If if you're near him and he wants you to get something because he knows the word mom. Yeah. Mom. He goes, and he'll, yeah, yeah. Because he knows that mom gets me stuff. Right. Regardless of who it is. Mom gets me mom stuff. Mom gets me stuff. Right. And, and so, but prior to prior to being able to say the word mom mm-hmm. he would actually attempt to say people's names yeah right and more specifically or mimic what you're saying or, yeah, yeah or more specifically 
he would go, and you know he knows the individual's names because you would say, go to auntie, and uh-huh. he go straight to her. Yeah. You know, so he knows the difference. Right. He knows who ma is versus auntie versus yeah. uncle. But it's just like, no, I know this one word, so I don't need to use the word. Yeah. I don't need to use the other communication. And everybody's space. responding to me on this word. Yeah. Right. And so we, so the more we learn to talk, mm-hmm. the less we learn and understand and practice communication. Yeah. Right. And so, and at least this is my my personal philosophy. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and just like I said with the example, um, the response that everyone gives me because I say mom. Yeah. I'm going to use that. Yeah. Communication. Right. Just like when we are troubled kids or something like that, the louder I am, the more attention. The more I attention get. I get. So let me just holler to the top of my lungs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so and, the more I tell you to do something and I respond a certain way, and if it gets you to re- you know do what I want you to do, then I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna right. do that. If I withhold money from you in our relationship, yeah, just to get you to do something, then I'm gonna right. do that. It's like it's like the saying that no publicity is bad publicity, mm-hmm. um, and and it's a double entendre because mm-hmm. it means that that there is no bad publicity, but right. it also means that not having publicity is bad publicity. Nobody's checking for you, right? This it's this it's the same thing from an attention standpoint. Uh-huh. No attention, like our our human brain tells us that no attention is bad attention, right? And so as long as we're getting attention, then we're okay with that type type of attention, or rather. We will settle for bad attention if it means we have attention. Right. Right. And so, and so again, we, we, we don't ever learn how to communicate effectively. Yeah. Once we begin to use our words, yeah. we just, we just try to make sure we have the most words. Yeah. Right. And, and, and that's what leads us into honestly needing to have counseling. Right. Because because one of the one of the key components, at least from what I've learned from you and all of your reading and you know the the different shows that we watch and the different things that I read and, and so on and so forth, is that um, the the most important aspect of getting counseling is not actually again getting advice from something, mm-hmm. but it's the under it's understanding how to one process a given emotion situation scenario. Mm-hmm. And then how to hear, hear, and observe what's going on around. Yeah. Me, right. It's it's not so much of like so marriage counseling. It's not so much of me telling you this is what's wrong in your marriage and you need to fix it this way. But it's more so saying stop, look, listen, observe your marriage, identify the problems mm-hmm. in it, and then from the, hear the other person's perspective, and then communicate to devise a way of solving it. Right. And 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 what that mentality of I don't need any counseling or I only take counseling from God uh, uh forces us to or, or puts us in a position to miss is that aspect of of being able to hear and communicate with another person. Mm-hmm. Um it, and and you know I could go into a whole other discussion about yeah we didn't have Bible that. study today <laughs> <laughs> whatever but yeah yeah so in counseling and I will let you know right now counseling is is definitely not if you ever find a counselor that tells you what you're doing is wrong and you need to stop that and go back and you aren't with a counselor you're probably with a TDT um, worker right like I was therapy day treatment right worker and we're not called counselors anymore because right we don't count because you don't count it. Right. Um, <laughs> and you're not with a counselor because counselors or therapists are not going to tell you that. Yeah, they're going to ask you, "Well, how do you feel about that?" Right. And that's that's how probably do you feel what, about it. Why do you feel the why, way you feel? No. Why is a nasty word in counseling? Well, the, the 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 concept is why. Nope. The con the concept is you uh, you understand. I got to teach him a little bit more. The, why is a nasty is a curse word in counseling? Okay, fine. <laughs> the word may not be be. Preferred, but the purpose is you understanding why you feel the way that you feel. Mm. Is, that, is that inaccurate? Mm. Mm. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. Like, because <laughs> the, and the, the thing behind that is, if I ask you, why do you feel that way? You're more than likely going to tell me, well, I came to you to figure that out. Right, yeah, yeah. So now like, I have... you got to be on the defensive. Yeah, now no, I've I, kind of yeah, ended I, I, my relationship with I understand the nuance and the, and the, and the semantics of the, the word gotcha. usage, but... We not in the counseling gotcha. session. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> now I feel like people be like that. They be like, are you counseling me, Monique? Right, are you yeah. counseling me now? No, I'm not. I'm just having a conversation with you. Anywho. But anyway, guys, because we, we about to just right. have our conversation. Anywho, family, <laughs> friends, et cetera, et cetera. At the end of the day, we encourage if you need counseling, to mm-hmm. seek counseling. Um, and don't just find one counselor and be like, that didn't work for me. And then, and then drop counselor it. doesn't work. No, some people have to honestly seek and find. And they have to go through a few counselors right. and therapists before they found some find someone or a spiritual counselor. Mm-hmm. Now, spiritual counselor is a little bit different because they're not held necessarily to, to the, the same, same standard. standards that we are. We could get sued. Um, we could get, you know... Disbarred, even though we're not necessarily not to say that it's a lesser standard, it's a different standard. It's a different standard. Um, they can tell you a little bit um, different things, they can tell you, you not to do that, you're yeah. wrong, yeah. <laughs> but um, you definitely want to seek counsel that you feel safe with you and your partner, right? Um, that you don't have to worry about spreading your information to whomever they're in contact with. Um, but somebody that's going to seek to be a spiritual guidance for both you and your partner Mm -hmm. and get you into a space that is healthy and whole, um, where you're producing as well as being successful and happy in your marriage, um, in your relationships as well. So no, don't, don't just cut off counseling, but I would implore you to, seek another therapist or counselor or spiritual guidance. If you ever try counseling, you dislike that counseling. Yeah. Um, but, you know, all of that. And and again, well, what was I going to say? Because my brain was dying. Like, it was slowly shutting down. I don't down. know. I didn't tap it's in been, today. It's been a long day. Um, what? I didn't tap in today. Tap into what? To your brain. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, but no. Uh, that was corny. Yeah. <laughs> All no, all of that. Also, don't be afraid to 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 delve into the mind and the thought process process of you know contrasting perspectives. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, at least all, have the conversation. Yeah, have the conversation, and above all else, register for the conference. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're not doing anything else, like <laughs> no. But register to um to the conference. November the seventh is the last day for registration. Mm-hmm. November the twenty first is the conference. Be prepared to grow. Be enlightened. Yeah. And, uh, you know, all that. Until next time, peace out. Deuces. Catch you guys on the flippity flip. I can't. Bye, (laughs) y'all.